Ryan Mayer, now joined by Taquan Graham from the University of Texas, now looking to be drafted into the NFL this coming April. Taquan, first off, how you doing, man? How's everything been going? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, everything's been going good. I uh, finished up my pro day a couple Thursdays ago, and I'm just, uh, you know, working out, uh, doing my due, due, due diligence, and I'm um, just, you know, trying to uh, stay patient and uh, wait on draft day. No doubt, no doubt. And, and let's start with the pro day because that had a little bit extra importance this year, right? Because no combine, at least not the combine in the way we're used to seeing it, right, from the outside with – the drills and the 40 yard dash and everything that we're used to seeing from the outside. So just what were you looking to try and accomplish there at your pro day to show in front of the NFL scouts? Uh, I was just trying to show my athleticism, uh, uh, show that I was a, you know, a big, strong, powerful guy as well as how I can move, uh, you know, with the position drills and stuff like that. They had me doing a lot of different movements and, uh, and uh, I even was doing a little bit of uh, some drops as well. Um, and uh, I just wanted to go out there and show my athleticism and show what, how I can move and what I could do. Now, I want you to take me back a little bit. Where did the interest in football first come for you? What was it that drew you to the sport? Um, I probably was like seven, eight years old at a boys and girls club. And somebody literally just came up to my older brother and said, hey, does your little brother, you know, play any type of sport? Is he familiar with anything? I said, and they said no, and they just handed me like a flyer to my like, come to tryouts. And that's how it just kind of all started. But truly and honestly, uh, just watching my brother probably play Madden um, when I was a little kid gave me some interest, uh, just thinking that I wanted to do that and that I could do that. And finally getting the opportunity, I kind of just took it around with it. And now here we are. And you talked about Madden there. Were, were there some Madden battles back and forth between you and your brother? Who had the upper hand there? Yeah, there were a lot of Madden battles between me and my brother. But, you know, me probably being, you know, like six or seven, he was winning a lot of those battles. I might have got lucky every hundred game or so, but uh, he got most of the time. That's fair. That's totally fair. So, uh, at as you were going through playing football when you were younger and coming up through the levels, when was it for you that you really realized like, okay, I have something special here. I can take it to the next level to college and then on to uh, further than that and play in the pros. Um, honestly, um, I probably was in high school, probably my junior year was when I felt like I started to, I felt like I started to be a dominant player in high school. I felt like I could do a lot of the things I wanted to at East. Uh, I, I felt like at that moment, people around me, my coaches, my even my family and friends and all that, they were telling me how good I was. And, I, you know, of course, I started to believe it and started to listen to it. And that's where the moment I was like, hey, maybe I can't go to the NFL. Maybe I can't do this. Maybe I can't do that. But getting to college, I kind of had like a, a big a big shock to my system. Maybe I'm not as good as I I could be. I want to be. I'm not as good as I thought I was, and it made me really want to go to work. It made me want to do things uh, differently. I wanted to be in the NFL, so I made a lot of changes during my college career as well. And, and you talk a little bit about that shock to the system of going from high school to college. What was it about the change in level there, the change in maybe the pace of the game that really kind of stood out to you that you knew you had to make some of those changes that you were talking about? Um, the pace of the game is really, really fast, especially uh, us playing in the Big 12, uh, all those tempo teams that we play, all those high-powered offenses that we play. Um, the speed of the game was, I feel like, so, so fast. And uh, it probably took about my freshman year to get used to it or even – my halfway through my senior year season. And uh, I got used to the tempo of the game, but it was like, I guess the little details, the technique, uh, people's technique were a lot better than mine coming in. Uh, strength, speed, all that. I just felt like I was kind of, uh, you know, lacking when I first came in as a freshman, but definitely developed some strength and some speed my sophomore year and started to put it together year to year. No doubt about it. And then a successful career here at Texas, wrapping up this past year, Obviously, a different season for you than maybe you expected going into senior year with all that was going on in the world around it. But I just wonder, as you look back on your time at Texas, what's maybe the biggest thing that you learned during the course of your time there? 
thing I truly learned how to how to work. Um, and it sounds weird, but I always thought I used to work hard in high school. I always thought, you know, I was a hard worker. Just get close to it. Um, I just felt uh, a big change from my from my sophomore to junior year than from my junior to senior. I just felt like I put a lot of more work, not just on the field, but also, you know, like in the film room. I think I probably went probably two, two to four hours more like a week just watching film, just trying to understand uh, how people are going to attack me, how I'm going to attack them. And I definitely think me putting the work on and off the field when it came to film uh, definitely separated me. And I was reading something that said that your brother really was kind of the first person that kind of introduced you to that to that film game. Is that right? Is is he the one that kind of first gave you that introduction into studying football from that side of things? Man, yeah, I always thought like when I was younger, I kind of thought my brother was like, you know, taking the football thing too serious when I was in Pee Wee. And yeah, it kind of used to get on my nerves a little bit, but he used to come, no lie, with like a little camera and record. Every single, I was playing running back uh, in Pee Wee. He used to record every single touch, every single defensive snap. And he just was putting all these things together. And then after the game, he would come over uh, to our mom's house and he would make, he would sit me down and make me watch and say, hey, what did you do wrong? What did you do wrong? What kid you did better? Why did you miss this tackle? Why didn't you score on this play? Just different things like that. You know, at the time, me still being a kid, I didn't know, oh, man, he made me watch film. I just thought at the time he was criticizing me, but, you know, he introduced me to that. He gave me a, a little, you know, a base, a base of watching film while me even knowing. And um, I, I, all I can say is I appreciate that. Um, he just taught me little things just to watch for, you know, little tendencies people have here and there. And um, I definitely think that helps me even now. Absolutely. And, and now as you transition and get ready to go into the NFL, I wonder, you talked about some of the various parts of your game that you were working on throughout your college years. What are you working on in preparation for that next level? What are you looking to add to the game? Um, honestly, I've been working a lot of, uh, honestly, I've been in the weight room like crazy. Um, I've, been, I've been going pretty nuts when it comes to weight room stuff. Um, this heard of a few rumors that it might not be OTAs, uh, it may be, may not be. Uh, I just want to come into the situation, you know, physically prepared as well as mentally. Been watching a lot of NFL tape, uh, a lot of different defenses, you know, three, four, four threes, you know, multiple. Just watching all the defenses and watching all four spots. I think that's that's something that's also a big part of my game, being, being able to play a lot of different spots. And uh, I just like watching all the spots, watching all the different techniques, watching how these defenses attack these pro offenses, uh, you know, just trying to soak in uh, as much game as I can before I jump into this NFL situation. Absolutely. And you mentioned watching some of the tape and all of the different positions there along the defensive line to to add to your game. I wonder, <clears throat> are there specific guys that you're really trying to pinpoint and go, OK, you know what? I'd like that pass rush move or I like the way that he stops the run. Who are those guys for you? Um, when it comes to lining up up and down the line, uh, versatility wise, I really like uh, J.J. Watt. Uh, he kind of bounces from interior to outside a lot. Uh, I like that part of his game. I like how effective he is from any spot on the line. Uh, that's some, that's somebody I watch and I watch pretty closely because of that fact. But somebody I also pattern is I watch his Khalil Max long arm rushes, the way he uses his power, the way he manipulates angles to get offensive alignment off balance. I watch Fle Fletcher Cox. Uh, he works a lot. His power two to one. He works a lot of stuff uh, off of snatching, snatching down somebody's shoulder. Pretty much any power move and working off of it, Fletcher Cox, he does that. He does that at a high level. Then, of course, Aaron Donald, a lot of his stuff is uh, freakish and it's hard to, uh, it's hard to you know, imitate. But uh, I try to take a little piece of everyone's game, uh, make it my own. And, you know, just try to emulate those guys and what they do in certain parts of the games. Might, might not try to be just like them but try to you know make some of their moves my own some of the moves that they do and kind of try to tweak it for me uh, that's the best thing I can do
No question. Those are very good role models in terms of the style of play and, and some of the facets to add to the game. So uh, final question I have for you as, as you're going through this draft process, I know you'll be happy to hear anybody call your name, come draft day and, and go into the NFL and start that journey. But who was the team for you growing up? I know you're a Texas guy. So was it Cowboys? Is, is that, is that who it was for you growing up? My favorite player growing up was JJ Watt. So I was, a, I was more of a Houston Texans fan, but my okay. family, they're, they're my family. They're big Dallas Cowboy fans. Um, have been uh, since they were probably were born uh, diehards for sure. And there are also diehard Longhorn fans as well. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, Taquan, I, I really appreciate the time. I know it's a busy time of year for you guys as you get ready for the drafts here. Good luck to you going throughout the rest of this process and look forward to seeing what you can do in the NFL. All right. All right. Thank you.